Hey, what's up guys? Nice to see you here again for yet another amazing life lesson with Ishraj. But before, I should be saying that you guys were super nice with me in the past few days since my first YouTube video. All these kind and encouraging words. So it's thank you so much for that. Today, what I'm going to share with you is a story that will hopefully change your mind and your view on doing things in life. Alright, so there was this teacher who divided his class into two groups. The first group would be assessed only on quantity and the second group would be assessed only on quality. Both groups were assigned a task to replicate a vase of flour made of clay. The only difference was that the quantity group was instructed to make as many vases of flour as they could and the quality group as perfect one vase of flour as they can. The students, confused, asked the teacher, but sir, how would you choose the winner between these two groups? Our tasks are completely different. One group was asked to make as many vases as it can and the other group to make the most perfectible vase of flour. The teacher responded and said to the students, don't worry, do as I say and you will see the results for yourself. I wouldn't have to choose a winner, you will see. So, with a deadline set for two weeks, both group of students, still confused, got to work and started making the vase of flour as a sign per their group. The quantity group was making about 10 vases of flour a day, while the quality group was perfecting that one vase of flour every day for the rest of the two weeks. At the end of the two weeks, the quantity group made over 200 vases of flour and the quality group had that one vase of flour made as perfect as it could. It was time the teacher chose the winner, while well, a curious fact emerged. Shockingly, the quality group's perfect vase was so bad that even the original vase was way more superior than what the quality group produced. Funnily, all the quality group was asked to do was one vase, and even then they couldn't produce the result that was expected of them, that is, one perfect vase of flour. On the other hand, the quantity group had made more vases of flour than the quality group indeed, but at the same time, the last 50 or so vases that they made were way better quality-wise than the quality group and the original vase itself. The teachers then told the students, see, I told you, I wouldn't have to choose a winner. You can see for yourself who won. He would further add that in life, most people wait till they are perfect to start, whilst if you start right now with whatever you have and do a little bit every day, you will one day become perfect. Lesson behind this, the quantity group focused on making more and more vases anyway and anyhow they could. With each vase that they were producing, they were unknowingly improving the quality of the vase. Practice makes what? Practice makes perfect. On the other hand, the quality group was so focused on making that one perfect vase of flour that they kept on thinking and theorizing on how they could make that one vase perfect that they never actually made anything. They kept waiting and thinking. And with the deadline next door, they had no choice but to make one vase finally at the very last minute just so that they could get assessed. If not, they would fail the assignment. So now, I hope you guys know that you don't need to be perfect to start. Because if you wait to become perfect to start, you shall wait forever, my friend. But to become perfect, all you need to do is start. Start with whatever you have. If you look at Facebook, they were so bad and very basic when they just launched. Look at them now. Google, one of the biggest companies in the world now, started like Facebook, or even worse. Everything and everyone who has achieved big things in life today started from very poor beginnings, if not directly from scratch. But the mere fact that they just started made the big difference today. Remember, you will only attract anything you want, be it wealth, health, success, happiness or love if you act. Think about it, if you spell the word attraction, you will see the word act lying in between the word attraction. 
If you want to succeed, act, start, do it, just do it, start now. Like the perfect vase that didn't come from the quality group, rather from the quantity group who took action and doing and learning from the mistakes. You don't have to be perfect to start, but you have to start to be perfect. Wait, what? You're still here? Go and start doing it. But hey, before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends and families if you've loved it. And this is your friend Ishraj signing off for today and see you at my next YouTube video for yet another amazing life lesson with Ishraj.